Like, but but you're saying that when you were 16, you did molest your 12 year old cousin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you did. I did. Holy smokes! First things first, just like this video, comment down below with anything, and click that subscribe button because uh, this video is gonna get censored. Share with your friends and family so they're also aware. I actually did an interview with Horlo Chan, and he confessed to some crimes. Hey there everyone, welcome back. Do you know how I just did that video recently talking about how to expose YouTubers abusing children, the YouTubers Horochan and Mordo? Well, one of the YouTubers that I talked about in the video, Horochan, this one here, actually contacted me stating, Hello, I am this Horochan you're talking about. I'd like to talk with you just to clarify some information that they've given clearly wrong to you, so you tell some lies. Please contact me. So I ended up contacting Horochan and we ended up doing an interview on Discord. That's right, and his real name is George Vivas. If you want to watch the unedited version of this video, it's 17 minutes long. I'll put a link in the description below. I'll also be uploading it. But in this video, I'm just going to get to the main points of what he wanted to discuss. You go by George? Uh, yes. Yes, Jorge, George. Whatever. So you also go by uh, Horochan, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. Horochan. Horochan. Um, 18 right now. 18? Uh, I turned 18 this year. And you were saying the video I made had misinformation? Yes, some... A bit of misinformation. I think the first important point is that the thing about my cousin, from my part, from Ria, I uh, touched my cousin when I was 16. That's really bad. Holy smokes, you heard that right. Right off the bat, this dude just confesses that the stuff that he did with his underage cousin that was 12 at the time was actually true, and he doesn't deny it, and he was actually 16. But I do not have anything with Mordo. And Luis brings Mordo to my house, and I meet Mordo, and then he... Send me an invite link to enter to his uh, his Discord server. He says he has nothing to do with Mordo, but then Mordo was brought over to his house, and then he was invited to this Discord server where Mordo was on it, he was on it, other YouTubers were on it, and they shared nasty, disgusting things like child prawn. Like I said, you could definitely go check out the whole interview if you want and see the unedited raw version, but I had to cut out a lot of it. And this is where the misinformation was. There's two parts of misinformation, and here it was. The misinformation so, was for Changos, was Mordo, Random where had nothing to do with it. Movies. I'm not into yeah, ran and movie no, stars Random were exposed. Right. Random were exposed for Changos because he started spying the illegal activities. After they broke up, because Mordo hiding this, were hiding these activities from Randomware and telling them that active and telling him that activities were ended. Okay, so he wasn't aware of it. Okay, so that's the misinformation. Random, yeah. Okay. And Randomware exposed out this content because he spied the channel and he discovered that they are still doing that. Okay. 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 I see where and, that was misinformation and false. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anything mm -hmm. else that was false? Uh, about the about the Luis case, I think. Look, Randomware doesn't even know who Luis is. Okay. No, he has nothing to do with us. That's my personal life and my familiar life. Okay, so that's no. false misinformation too, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He didn't cover it anything because the Gaussian team has nothing to do with Foro Changos. Okay, okay. So, all right. So those are two misinformation. Is there anything else or was that it? I think, I think that is that was about all it. The, the important things. I don't think the video has... Mm, those were the two, so false, the two false things, right? Two lies? Two false to that to that okay so yeah that's the misinformation supposedly but from what i've been told movie star was sharing stuff and randomware was well aware of everything that was going on and that's why he ended up exposing mordo uh for all these alleged crimes that was going on and he even confesses 
Orochan confesses and admits that all this stuff was going on. And what's even crazier is he's more worried about randomware and that people are mentioning him because he knows about what happened between them. He claims that he didn't know, but he actually did know. But in all honesty, who really cares about that so-called misinformation when this dude already confessed to doing stuff with his underage cousin? Like, but but you're saying that when you were 16, you did molest your 12 year old cousin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you did. I did. Yeah, and you just want to put that behind you now, right? Yeah, and yeah. I admit that. It. I admit that, and yeah. I just gonna pass. I just gonna pass the page. Yeah. So you, I don't want to get into too much detail, but all you did was like touch her, and that was it. Nothing else. Nothing goes, huh? He, he, uh, she, she kissed me like a few months later. That's right, he actually admits and confesses that he groped his cousin, molested his underage 12 year old cousin when he was 16, which is illegal and a crime. Also, I'd like to point out that he mentioned that she later kissed him. I'm not sure if that's a crime or not. Um, probably, it's just disgusting and immoral, but the first part was definitely a crime. Then I ended up asking Horochan about his friend Lewis, who was in a relationship with his 12-year-old cousin, and Lewis at the time was around 18 or 19. Your friend Lewis, who was 18, was actually yeah. dating her? Like, in a relationship? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, was, she was in love with him by her own words, and everything was like... Oh, yeah. Like... So like hey what the fuck but yeah I they <laughs> do that my aunt tried to talk with luis my aunt tried to see what's happening and my aunt just provide uh, my cousin to see luis so your and... aunt found out and stopped the relationship yeah okay mm -hmm. but did but luis was being sexually active with your cousin at the time I have no idea. They didn't talk anything to me. They only... Luis talked to me to admit him do that. Like, a year ago. Oh, he admits that he did do stuff? But to you, yeah. that was a... Yeah, okay. But they, uh, they I, were... I, 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 I... I know because he told me, but he didn't tell me anything else. And me, my cousin didn't tell me anything. Yeah. My cousin doesn't want to talk about it. Yeah, you guys just wanted to kind of drop it and be silent and just kind of... Yeah. So he also admits and confirms that his friend Lewis, who was 18 or 19 at the time, was actually in a relationship with his 12-year-old cousin and that they were engaging in activities as well, which is illegal. All right, so first off, he admits that he molested his 12-year-old cousin when he was 16, which is a crime. He also admits that his friend Lewis, which was 18 or 19 at the time, was also in a relationship and doing stuff with his 12-year-old cousin, which is absolutely disgusting as well and third he also admits that for Ochangos was a discord server where Mordo and him and pollution entertainment as well as other multiple Spanish youtubers were sharing child pornography and that's the reason why I got shut down he claims that movie star didn't share any of that stuff and randomware wasn't aware of that stuff but from what I understand that channel was also shut down for sharing this kind of stuff and regardless randomware was a aware because he did a whole video on Mordo exposing him. It's a six hour video as well as the fact that he knows what Horochan did. Horochan even admits that and that just because he knows people are now bringing him into it and that's the thing is that people are like well randomware condones it and isn't doing anything so he should also be exposed. And get this, George actually contacted me, like I said, he contacted me, he wanted to tell the truth, this truth, and yeah, it just blows my mind that he would actually confess to all this stuff, and he's more concerned about randomware, his so-called friend, who doesn't care about him at all, 
when in reality he just literally threw himself under the bus a along with Mordo and along with a bunch of other YouTubers and his friend Lewis for Christ's sakes. So that's what I dealt with in the last day. This is absolutely disgusting and blows my mind. Um, you know, I can't believe that this guy actually admitted to this stuff, like I said. So I was curious on how this all like happened. Not like him like doing what he did, but how was he exposed? Like who the heck found out? Like what happened? So I ended up asking him and this is what he ended up saying. Where did your past come up? Like um, clearly what you did with your cousin ended up being shared on discord i believe it was like who shared that was that you or was that something yeah it was you what well, well, was me like confessing me with my friends was a friend a uh, friend uh was one of my friends who exposed that thing because uh, i thought okay. I, I talk about this with my friends okay before. thinking that you could trust them sharing this person yeah information, yeah trusting yeah them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you weren't like bragging to them, like, hey, I did this, ha ha ha. You were just kind of like, hey, I feel ashamed. This is what happened. Yeah. I'm confused. Yeah. 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 Every, eh, eh, eh. Everyone knows that I was shamed. I was shamed. And I'm very, very disgusted that this team like brings up a game because. People ignore that that was a part of my life, my own life. So I lived with the, with the, the weight of this, the, the guilty. Yeah. So you just wanted to get it off your shoulders. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. I understand. Yeah, I, I understand that. That's why people go to the church and confess to a priest usually, you know, in a confession booth. Yeah. They don't usually do it on a Discord server. Yeah. It's unfortunate that you did that, but uh, you know, you're gonna have to deal with the consequences of it, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I accept. Uh, I I made a mistake, and I have to deal with that. Yikes! So, moral of the lesson is don't ever do anything disgusting that are illegal, and also don't trust your friends. Regardless, you shouldn't be doing anything illegal or morally wrong or disgusting, and that's just a given. But, like, secondly, yeah, that just goes to show you you can't trust people. He trusted his friends. He confessed something to get off his shoulders, and boom, they ended up using it against him, and now look at the trouble that he got into. And I think people making YouTube videos about him is just the tip of the iceberg of the trouble that he's about to experience. So anyways, I'm going to get going. You all let me know your thoughts and opinions about this in the comments below. I believe that he should be prosecuted. Same with his friends. And they should all be investigated and charged. But I'm not a police officer. So there's nothing I can do. I can only just create the videos and gather the information and the evidence and provide that. And if anybody else wants to do anything with that, that's what they, they can do. Um, my hands are tied and crossed. And I'm not saying to do anything. Anyways, so yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions about this in the comments below. Please like this video. Share it with your friends and family and click that subscribe button down below for more it helps me out a lot and i really appreciate it. it's free it takes two seconds and i really do appreciate it. it helps me out a lot thanks for watching everyone stay safe god bless you all take care and peace out